also um, these chairs. Uh, I've got two chairs from the charity shop in uh, Sligo. I've just put that cushion on for the time being. Um, I'm going to reupholster them and strip it down and redo it. I didn't know whether I wanted to leave it as it was and just basically let me take this off, basically clean it. You can see it's got nice detail. Now it's, it's old fashioned um, but once with the rooms done it's uh, it's going to fit in nicely. Uh, it needs a, it needs a good bit of clean to do. I mean, it's it's not it's not damaged. The other chair on the other side's got a bit of damage on the leg that I'd have to get Vincent to have a look to repair. Now I could recover it if I wanted. I might yet, um, but we'll see. I might. I don't know if I like this. Whether this is too dark. Um, hmm, she. I'll show you the other the other chair. This is the other chair, it's the same again. Now you can see where the damage is. Um, I think they were looking for 35 um, for the two chairs. 35 or 45? I'm not 100% sure now, I can't remember. But I know I've, I've got maybe about a 5 or a 10 and ox off it anyway. Um, now there's a bit more damage on this chair. Uh, again, yeah, it needs, it needs a fair bit of work doing to it. It's not too bad. There's the chairs. Now, uh, the reason I got them is because I've got these two chairs here. Um, these two chairs were my granddad's chairs on my mother's side. Uh, I've just put these on to protect it for the moment. Whip that off there. As you can see, it's worn. Um, I think there were um, chairs they used in the railway station for seats in the waiting room. Uh, so these are, are they're quite old. They're, in, they're a nice set of chairs. I really like them. Again, um, nobody wanted them in the family. <laughs> Um, I was asked a few times and um, in the end I decided I would take them. So again, um, I did give my mum and dad something for them, as uh, my mum knows. So those were a purchase. Yeah, so they're, they're two lovely chairs, lovely backs on isn't they? Um, it's come up really well. So I mean that dining table as well is quite old. Vincent's had that for for a long time. I think that that is antique. Uh, the dining room table. I'm not quite sure how old it is, but he had a cat, and the cat just, um, as you can see, damaged it. It um, used it as a scratching post. Uh, anyway, as anyone knows, when you've got animals. <laughs> You've really got to keep them out of good rooms or any room you want furniture to last. Right, so no, no cats are allowed in here now. That was my rule. Yeah, so it'd be nice that when it's um when they they're all done. That's why I might just keep them the same, but sympathetically restore them. You can see where there's been paint on them over the years and everything. Mm, yeah, so that'd be nice and all that's done. I'm really pleased, really pleased with the, the way the bits are going. I mean, it's not a bad day out there today, but do you know, it's going to be another week or two before I can really get out doing any more pointing. I've got the pens outside for the horses for the day at the back. A couple of pens there. Um, as you can see, they're all in the stables anyway. They've been in the stables for the last month or more. Uh, but during the day, we've been letting them out. Um, today now, they've not been out today, but they'll get out tomorrow at some point. Do you know, I'm constantly um, doing bits now. I always forget to film. Um, so, arts and crafts. So what I'm doing with this vase, that was the colour of it. I say it's from the 1980s. 
um, I picked this up from a charity shop. I'm actually using um, chalk paint. Um, this is antique white. Um, so once I've painted this, just going to get one coat and obviously I've got to do inside here as well. Um, then I'm going to turn it into like a stone effect. Now it won't be as dark as this, but you can see the the stone effect that it will be eventually. Um, I've got another piece that I just did there and that was a find from the charity shop. So I'll just go and get that. Um, I've got this stand uh, from a charity shop. Um, I've repainted it. I've sprayed it. It was cream already, like a whitey cream. I sprayed it with this particular um, paint. I'll show you the can in a minute. Um, so obviously it depends on your colour background, what colour it's going to be. As you can see, it's not exactly the same and it's giving it a stone effect. Now I did do YouTube to find out different stone effects and there was nothing that I really liked that looked like stone. I know people were using like wall, um, like like um, that paste stuff filler and mixing it with um, sand and pepper sieves and all sorts of stuff, you know, okay, okay, you know, just to, to try and get that effect. But it didn't look good. So, um, and I, I wanted something that was going to look classy and this is doing it for me. Um, and I like the pattern on this and I didn't want to be hiding the pattern. So I thought I'd buy the, the spray and I'd give it a whirl with the spray and I'm really delighted. It's giving it that stone effect. And this, the can of spray was about, I don't know, 16 euros or 18 euros. I'm not 100% sure. Could have been about um, 18 euros, I think, from Sligo in home base. And I'm going to get quite a few goes out of it. I've not even used half of can yet. So this is just a two light coats and that's enough what I want on that. So I'm going to do this, that colour, on this. So when I've done the uh, chalk paint on it to get rid of that the brown colour, um, I'll spray it up. And it doesn't have to be identical to this, but it's going to be similar, which I'm going to be really happy with. Now, I did it with two lamps. Um, I used a different um, uh, paint, same same make as this, but I can't get that particular colour again, this one here, because um, there was a couple of bits that I, uh, I made a bit of a boo-boo on top there, so I might have to paint that in with some yeah, grey paint or something, I don't know, yeah, we'll see. So I've got these two lamps, um, which are sprayed. Um, that was before Christmas, so we're going to um, rewire those. Um, the tops I've just ordered off the internet, like a, like a brass fitting top with a turn handle on it to turn it on and off. And the light bulbs that I got from Tarnis, um, it was 16 euros for this particular big bulb. If I can just get it out the, the box. Hold on one second, sorry about this. I'm just going to have to pop the phone there for one second while I get it out because I don't want to drop it. That's for sure. Not to paint 16 euros. Right, uh, just go it up so I can show you. So that's the bulb. So this is going to be sat on top with a, with a brass fitting. Uh, and that's it. There's going to be no light shade on there at all. It's a beautiful... Uh, Beautiful bulb, really like it. It's gonna look the the business. So that's gonna be. I don't want it particularly bright, bright. That's uh, six watt, um, as you can see on the box. And like I said, it was sixteen euros. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. So the brass fitting, then this on top, and um, with the cord, um, I'm going to hide the cord. Um, with let me just show you right so what I'm going to do I'm going to hide the cord uh, with this eventually I could the paint on my hands um, with this so what I'm going to do 
this is going to be wrapped round the cord. So when the cord comes out of here, I'll show you. I'm going to wrap it round, twist it round. So it's going to be a nice decorative piece going to the plug socket. So that's where we're up to at the moment. Uh, I also got this from a charity shop for, what was it? One ninety nine. It's cute. I like it. And again, it's going to go nicely with a get the decor done and everything of you know got these as well um you see me thrifting for those in um it's altringham manchester so that's uh that well that's what was on that big that big vase over there yeah so quite like this these i'll clean up and i'll uh, i'll use them i think i paid a fiver a fiver for that uh I think it's silver it's silver plated so I've got a little cream room and I think a sugar bowl um, and a wee little tray and I've got two like um, gravy boats I think they are they're silver plated as well so those I'll uh, clean those up I think I've got those for a fibre for the two um, those I think I've got them for eight for the two that i'm not quite sure if i paid a fiver or six quid for that actually a uh, little butter dish with the with the knife and everything um this i got from the charity shop that cost me 20. it's crystal it's in perfect condition so i was delighted with that this as you can see cost me six but i got it for a fiver the tray so that's that um these um i think i picked them up for a couple of pound from one thrift shop uh they need clean up i'm missing like a like a lady must be able to put little flowers in there so those need cleaning up and polishing up um, i've already had candles in them already um uh, but i'm pleased about them i've been throwing on here um i also got this oops Little cake stand. Now we've cleaned it up already. Obviously, it's all the plate tarnishes, so it needs cleaning again. And um, it's okay. It's just it's just decorative. It's just, just I liked it anyway. That was from the charity shop. I think it's it's been it's a bit warped slightly. Not too bad. I think we strained it up to what it was. Mm, not too bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a bit needs securing a little bit more. Yeah, so that was um from the from the charity shops. Um right, this is the stone spray I'm using. Um I can't pronounce it, Rusto Lofty whatever. You can read it from there. Um yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. And I don't mind it not being the exact that colour shading but it's similar which gives it a nice effect so uh, yeah I'm really pleased that that got from a charity shop as well I love the frame I don't think the picture's worth anything but yeah I love the frame also I've got that picture from the charity shop Kason loves that picture it's uh, teddy heaven he calls it a little boy on his bed with all the teddies and I'll show you I got this painting from um, the charity shop as well. Um, when I when they decor the house inside, eventually, you know, when we rip everything out, everything's going to be put put in nicely. It's, at the moment, it's a bit higgledy piggledy, and it's neither one thing or the other. That um, I got from a thrift shop, um, two pound. So it's wood. Um, I say that's worth about. Uh, <laughs> market it to sell it's worth about eight and um, this painting by uh, Dennis Fortin um, I got from a thrift shop as well I paid six six pounds for it again um, beautiful painting it's got a slight bit of indentation on there it's not too bad but a lovely painting beautiful beautiful painting that's an Irish painter and again, uh, another charity shop find, another painting. Um, that's it really. Uh, again, um, a 
charity shop find so I'll just put the light on it's not very bright in here um, I paid four for that it's a nice uh, nice little uh, vase you put anything in it any dried flowers or anything in there again that's another bulb for the other lamp again this was eight pounds that was again from another charity shop it's actually stone it's made in Kenya um, and it's stone marble and it's been hand carved and that was eight um, so I'm really pleased with that delighted everything seems to be from the charity shop this was from a charity well from a thrift shop um, it's a hunt uh, on the hunt so it's horse and rider and the horse is rearing there this um, is from um, a charity shop and that cost me ten a tenner for that um, this little horse here um, he's from a charity shop now he's missing that's the lights because the lights went out with the storm um, so cannot, he's missing his carriage um, I picked him up I think he was three, three euros he needs a good clean but he's, he's damaged, he's been through the wars he's not He's not put someone's broke him and sold them together again. So his his two halves don't exactly line up, but I don't, I don't mind. Once he's cleaned up, he'll look good. Now this was um, a charity shop find, which I'm absolutely delighted with. Um, I think he cost me. I'm not quite sure if he was ten or twelve. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, pleased with him. He polished up lovely. Again, he was um, a thrift shop. Oh, deep heat, back went. Oh, jeez, one thing and another. Uh, still can't get out to um, do any work outside yet because the weather's been so frosty. Now, he's an eagle. He's lovely. I like him. Again, thrift shop find. I think, again, it's either... I don't know if it was a five. It might have been ten again. Maybe five or ten. Maybe five, I think. And again, this wee fella here, he was, um, you can see I'm so organised, the place is a tip. Um, he was three euros. Little duck, uh, again, brass. He's th oh, you can see, he's uh, three euros. Uh, so that was him. Uh, I'm in the process of doing um, a picture frame for, for me dad. Those were the flowers he gave me um, on his 50th wedding anniversary that he wore um, and two of his watches so I'm in the process of doing something with that at the moment getting ready to put up on the wall just put it together briefly just to see what it looked like now that's it yeah and uh, this I got from the charity shop um, they wanted 35 euros for that uh, it needs a bit of work doing so I'm gonna I'm gonna sand it down let's say it's probably from you can see the wall the damp where it's been getting in um this, what year I think maybe 60s uh, 50, 1960s I think that is so I'm gonna sand that down um keep it not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Sand it down and maybe varnish it again. Maybe try and keep it in with the with this colouring. This looks quite like that. Um, so that was a charity shop find. I got that for she, she wanted 35 and I got it for 25. Again, this here, I got that from a charity shop. This is older again. This would be don't know, 1900s. Yeah, it's a lot older than the other one and um, again I got that for 25 so that was a that was um, a good buy so again I'm going to be doing something with them I'm not going to do too much restoration on this uh, clean the top up and keep it original as much as possible again I got this from the charity shop it's um it holds the door open what do you call them door stop, door stop. <laughs> yeah um it's just like a, a heavy metal uh, so we've got that so we'll be using that and I quite quite like that with the mare and foal 
yeah pleased with that i think that cost me um i think they were looking for 25 and it cost me was it 25 or 20 can't remember I it was 12. no no we we're looking for 25 for it and i think i got it for 20. that was it yeah it was 25 trying to think it's probably got price no this sort little of price off but i got that for for 20. again i got this from the charity shop i think it cost me 35 it's um it's a coat and umbrella stand um i've got to renovate it as you can see it's got cars in <laughs> it's case and um as you can see it needs a new handle it needs rubbing down um, it's got a wee cupboard at the bottom. Uh, it's got the umbrella stands. Um, it's it's quite beautiful. Uh, just needs a bit of love and tender care. Now I could take it down and do like a white wash on it, but I don't ever want to. I quite like the way the colour is. Quite quite like that colour. Um, and I think uh, it's it's coming in a little bit more. That's the the deep shades. So. I'm going to, you know, how to oh, restore it gently and see what I can do with it. Look at the wellies and everything. All the muck. So, yeah, so restore that gently. And, you know, it's got a bit damaged to it, but we can, uh, I can work with that. We can do something with that. Yeah, but I, that's going to be quite a, a nice piece eventually in the hall. Okay, okay I've just finished um, painting it. So I've just gone inside, so that's its first coat. I'm only going to give it one coat. Uh, when that's dry, tomorrow I'll take it um, outside somewhere and spray it to give it that stone effect. So I'm really pleased with that. I meant to say, I got this from the charity shop's uh, little uh, bronze candlestick probably what 1950s something like that I'm not 100% sure um, used it again when the power was out it was out for as you know for a day or two um, that was about two pound it's not bad um, and I paid two pound for the two of these the silver plated they're made in England um, there's nothing fancy about it they're not but two pound for for the two so that was quite nice quite liked the idea so i'm going to do some decorative things with all that bought that years ago from an antique fair and that cost me 20 pounds at the time um love that that's a silver plate that was cleaned up for christmas we use that every christmas yeah so i'm pleased with that now so yep that's the the chalk paint Pleased with that, yeah. Pleased that it's gonna look good when it's finished. Hmm. All right, I'll uh, carry on doing the tea. I'm going to put up some footage of the tree that we trimmed, so you'll see that as well. All right, okay. So yesterday I painted it with chalk paint. Today I've sprayed it. As you can see, it's that lovely stone effect, and it's come up really really nice um, it's had two coats and I've had it outside and I brought it in um, now there was a design at the bottom a speckled design and a speckled design in the centre from the you know the original um, I might just spray this section again here just give it a light spray all around but as you can see it's quite beautiful now when you put that to that you can see it depends on what background you're spraying on you could, if I wanted, instead of painting this um, the with the chalk paint on the antique white, I could have done um, a cream or a beige and I'd have got a different effect again. So depending on your base colour is the colour determination of what you're going to get. So that is the beauty about using um, the particular paint that I'm using um, for a stone effect. As you can see, you can use it on um, basically any surface, really. But yeah, I'm really pleased that's come up. It's come up gorgeous. Really, really, really well. Really well. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Like I said, it's just giving it... It's more classy. 
And I've seen these cheap things where you can you can do it on uh, YouTube, but this is more classy. Now with this this paint, I've actually found it online cheaper again. Vincent was looking. Um, so Vincent actually found it online. I think you pay up to 12 euros if you buy online. So I might just get some more, a um, couple of different shades. Um, but like I said, if I'm doing different backgrounds on it, I can uh, get different looks. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I never really did zoom into these pictures. I've just uh, going to upload this Sunday, but I never did zoom in. I know what picture that is and I can't, can't think it's obviously it's a print. Um, and I can't think now who it was. Um, but this one that Kaysen likes, again, it's a print. Um, again, I've, I've done the, I've done my research and I, I know the story behind the, uh, the painting, but again, my mind's gone blank. It's just a story of my life. Got enough to be thinking of. Um, and this painting here, look at that, I've got to put that down so the water's just peeing through. The weather's been so bad. When they get finishing outside there now. And then we can rip all this out and start fixing in here. It's just, just a, ugh, it gets depressing. Don't want to think about it. But um, this painting, uh, I really like. Really do like it. Um, that's, I say that's oil on canvas. It's a lovely scene of a race course. It's just so well done. So well done. Brilliant textures and everything. Love it. This cabinet was um, Vincent's mother's cabinet. We're into things being handed down to us. Um, one, because nobody else wants them. <laughs> They're all into this modern thing. I like old-fashioned stuff. This um, coffee set, uh, I've got the, the cups and saucers, uh, the little milk jug, um, the coffee pot, the sugar bowl. Uh, that set was um, from Poland and it was my Auntie Jean Uncle Anton's. Anton was Polish. Um, they're long since passed away now. Um, and I was gifted the set along with other things. Um, again, I, I was gifted another set. We, the, um, this again would be from Poland, I think. Uh, I, think I've done, I think I don't know if I've done my research on that. Again, another coffee pot, but it always used to be tea made in it. So we'd always get um, a pot of tea when we go down, big family reunions. So it was a nice little set. Um, uh, this, the Royal Tara, I got um, years ago. Me and my friend went shopping. Um, I became homeless a long, long time ago. Um, and uh, eventually when I, I did get my own, my own place, I started to, to buy, buy things to start filling it up. <laughs> so I call, um, a second hand, well, it's a seconds, this, some of this tea set is seconds, so it wasn't full price and it was when Royal Tara was, uh, closing down. So I got a little clock and various bits. So yeah, so I'm really pleased about that. Them, I love them. Now this is the the painting by Dennis um, Thornton. I mean, look at that detail. Isn't that fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. Such a good artist. I think he died in 1999. I think he was born in uh, 1939. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think this is an American artist, still art, and again, that's oil on canvas. That's lovely. I think I'm not quite sure if that's acrylic or oil. This one, I think that might be acrylic. I think that's acrylic, and um, this one's oil on canvas, but that one is on canvas too. Um, yeah, I love that. Hey, I'll, I'll give you a laugh. Oh, that's, that's me and my daughter when she was little. I got a little photo shoot done. This. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. That's me and Vincent. We went to uh, Cove uh, 
and the, it was the Titanic experience. And yeah, yeah, Vincent played the part well. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. We had such a good laugh. We dressed up and there was a green screen behind us and we dressed up and had our photos talk. So yeah, that's funny. 